Hey there, hope you're doing well. Let's take a look at the data set that we have in this session. We have a table called dbo.trading where we have two fields inside this table, trade date and profit. Let's take a look at the data that is present inside this table. We have dates and number in profit column. Each date here represents to a single transaction. So these are the list of transactions you could say. And if you take a look at the dates, they are not in series. So they are not in serial order. So after first transaction, there is a gap of a day and second transaction was made on 3rd September. After 3rd September, there is again a gap of few days and third transaction was made on 11th September. Now let's take a look at the output, how output should look like. In the output, we need to show three or more consecutive transactions when customer made loss. So eligible transactions are 11th September, 14th, 19th and 21st. So let's try to build the solution for this. Okay, before we start with the solution, let me tell you this is video number 11 of SQL problems and solution playlist that we have for data related profiles. So I would highly recommend to go back and check out other problem statements as well that we solved as a part of this playlist. Now let's start building a solution. So I will, so, uh, so, so let's start building a solution. Now when I build solution, I will try to split the solution or divide the solution logic into different multiple parts so that it will be easy for you to understand and it will be task for you to combine the divided logic into more simple query. Solution query and table DDL along with insert statement is provided in the description box. Please go and check it out for your practice. Okay, so first of all, I will just select the data here to show you the actual data. So this is the data we have in the table trade date profit. Now what I will do is I will first of all add one column which will have row number for each row in the table. So I will say select from dbo.trading is our table name and I will say select star along with that I want row number. So I will use row underscore number which is a window function here and we need to use over clause and we need row number right as per the transactions we have. So I will say give me row number order by trade date. So this is the field name. I will just copy it from here in ascending order. Okay. And I will call it as RN1 row number 1. Okay. Now let's try to execute this query and see whether we get row numbers. Yes, we got the row number right for every transaction. Now I will wrap this inside the CT. So with clause semicolon with C underscore RN1 and as keyword. I will take this as keyword on the same line just to save the space. Okay. After that, what I will do is I will select only those transactions where customer made loss. Okay. So I will say select from and this time I will query the CT that we just created RN1. And here we will say select star and in the where clause we will say where profit field. Let's copy field name from here where profit is less than zero. Why there is okay here we wrote the comma that is why it was highlighted in red color. Let me execute this query. We need to select CT as well. Along with CT, we need to execute select statement to show the result. Okay. Now we have got only those transactions where customer made loss. And from this result, we need to consider only those transactions where customer made loss for three or more consecutive times. Okay. So if you take a look at the actual result, it says we need to include only those dates which are 11, 14, 19 and 21st because they are four consecutive transactions. Okay. There are again two more transactions where customer made loss which is 23rd and 25th. However, after that customer made profit right on 26 September. That's why these two dates, these two dates are not eligible to be part of the result because after second transaction, third transaction that in the th third in the third transaction customer made profits. That's why these two dates are not eligible for the result and these four dates are eligible because here customer made loss for consecutive three or more times. Okay. That is why these dates are eligible for the result. Okay. Now let's go back to our solution. We got the transactions where customer made loss. Now we need to consider only those rows which are consecutive right for three or more times. Okay. Now again, I will wrap this query inside CT. So I will say C underscore RN2. Okay. As and what I will do is 
before I wrap, I need to add one more column here to show you that I will say, okay, I need all the columns along with that. I need to give row number again only for the transactions where customer made loss. So again, I will copy uh, this same logic row number and I will call it RN2. Okay. Now, if we execute this query, you could see we have two columns, row number one and row number two, right? Row number one was added with the full data and row number two column is added with the filtered data where we selected only transaction where customer made loss. Okay. Now, here it is very easy to understand whether this is a consecutive record or not. If we subtract one from this value three, then the result that we get is two, right? If we subtract value of uh, field row number one from value of field row number two, then we get two. Here also, if we subtract two from four, we get result two. Here also, if we subtract three from five, we re get result two. And here also, we get result two. Okay. And if we take a look at this, we get result as eight minus five, three and nine minus six, three. Okay. So we will have to get the difference between row number one field value and row number two field value. Okay. Now we will go back again and include this inside the city. So I will say C underscore RN2 as again open bracket and close bracket. Okay. Now I need to derive the difference. Okay. So I will say select again from the second city that we just saw RN2. Okay. And here also I will say select all and give me the difference be between RN1 minus RN2 as diff. Okay. Now let's try to execute this query along with CTs and see the result whether we get difference that we just evaluated just now. Okay. Now we get the difference, right? Now if you take a look at this, wherever we have difference, same difference, right? Those are the consecutive records. So this is again difference of three days, difference of three days, three number, right? Now these are consecutive records. So wherever difference is same, we can say those are the consecutive transactions. Okay. Now we need to get the count of difference. If count of difference, for example, difference two, if count of two is equals to or more than three, right? Then all the transactions where difference is two are eligible to be a part of the result. Okay. So we will have to get the count of difference in front of every row. Okay. So I will again wrap this inside city. I am just dividing this logic. Okay. But this will be task for you to combine all these cities and make it simple. So I will say C underscore difference as open bracket and close bracket. Let me just align it so that it will look good. Okay. Awesome. So this looks neat. Okay. Now here I will say select again from and this time we will use the previous city and here I will just take it up. Okay. We need to include everything. So I will say star just to sh just to see whether we get correct result. I am including all the columns. Okay. And here I will use count function. Okay. So here when we use count function, we need to be cautious, right? We need to get count of difference, right? And whenever count is changing, that should be uh, that should reset. Okay. So we will say count of difference field. What is the field name? Yeah. Difference over. We will convert it into window function using over clause. And here we will say partition the difference by partition by difference. Okay. So that every difference will become one batch and we will get the count. Okay. As CNT or we can uh, give it a full name count. Now let's execute everything along with CTs that we created. Okay. Now you can see we got the transactions where customer made loss and you can see what was the initial row number, right? And what is the row number that we added after filtering out rows where customer made loss and what is the difference between initial row number and row number that we added later and how many times. So same difference is occurring, right? So we have four. That means Difference two is occurring, right? It has count of four and difference three is available two times. Okay. So if count is equals to or greater than three, that means these are the rows that are eligible. So we need to include filter out only those rows, those transactions where count is greater than equals to three. Okay. So let's go back again and 
wrap up this inside CT. One more CT. I will just write CTs, but this is your task to make it simple and combine it. Okay. Again, CT as and this time we will write our final query. Select from C underscore CNT where count is greater than equals to count is greater than equals to three. Okay. Now here we will write only we will select only required fields. Okay. So I will say trade date is the field that we need. Right. So I will just select it, copy, paste and we need profit field. So again, go back and take the profit field and let's execute all the CTs along with the last select query that we have. Okay. Now we got the result that was expected. We got only those transactions where customer made loss for three or more than three times. If you are new on our channel, then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos. Do not forget to like and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.